All right, a couple of weeks back, you saw that we modified our front bay uh, for the Starlink cable to run through it and come out of my wet bay. One of the things that we have to do every time we get to a new location is actually set up uh, Starlink. We have some good friends that are with us, the Churchleys, who uh, basically ran his Starlink from the backside of his TV, and it comes through the bay and out the water system where the Nautilus is back behind me. And then that way he can actually just roll it up every time and bring it down through the uh, through like the bottom of the water where your water hose comes up into the bay. It can actually just go down through that and run it straight out to wherever you need to put dishy. Basically to summarize what, what we did was the cord is wrapped up in there now. And so anytime we get to a new place, we can just feed it down through like where the hose comes up into the wet bay and then we can just run Starlink and we don't ever have to unplug it. The router stays behind the TV. Just like that. And my cable will hang right there. Check it out. Now we got Dishy back there. It's not its final resting place. We're gonna clean all this up at some point, but it's there. Sweet. And I didn't have to drill anything. <laughs> Next phase of that, and I know I'm really late to the game, so I'm not like, ooh, this is new, but we got Flagpole Buddy. And so this will let me just put it up on a ladder, kind of like my neighbors have, and um, make it a lot faster. So just put Starlink on top of that. There comes with two connectors. You just connect to the ladder. It goes in kind of an angle. Then you straighten it and it sits down in a cup, and Starlink is up above the uh, the rig. The downside is, is if you're in tree coverage over the backside of the rig, obviously that's not going to help. Flagpole Buddy actually came out with some suction cup versions that you can use basically anywhere on the rig. We do not have those yet, but we were already talking about that. Like how do you how do you mitigate that? That might be something down the road, but for now we have flagpole buddies. So it's a nasty day. It's misty. It's foggy. Probably gonna put it up anyways just because I'm excited when I get new stuff. We'll put that up and then we'll uh we'll get Starlink up. So everything we have here, bag for the poles to go in. These are the mounts that go on the ladder. This is actually the thing, the, the adapter for Starlink. And then you get two four foot section poles. But I wanna show you the adapter for Starlink because They made it look like a spaceship. Uh, just like the Starling spaceship. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I'm a kid, toe kid. Should be pretty easy to, to actually put up. So I think we're gonna go ahead and do that and get this up. So this is the bottom piece that the pole sits down in. And what's unique about this system is the way this top piece is shaped. So it's meant to go in like this. And then when you straighten it to put the bottom piece in, that's when it's being held in the place with the top. So to get it out, you simply are going to take it out of the base, rotate the pole, and it comes right out. And it goes right on your ladder. It comes with the clamps, everything. And again, you rotate it in, put it in there, then this will sit the base of the ladder, put it right in there, you're done. Flag pulls up. Flag pole buddy goes, mounts on the ladder rails, kind of the vertical ladder rails. Uh, so, I mean, you can't, the weather can't stop me. 
Now I'm going to be extra careful because it's probably slick, but uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and mount that stuff on there. So wish me luck. There it is. It is on there now. And uh, yeah, that gets Starlink up above the roof, which gives us the option to uh, not have to have it on the ground and not have to climb the ladder to mount it. And then I can always just like fold the ladder up so that it's a little bit higher too. So looks good. Starlink. Next thing I need to do is just put the uh, dish on it for the first time. All right, now that's not raining anymore. <laughs> Let me show you guys exactly what I did. So on the RV we have, now we now have the flagpole buddy system mounted and this is specific to Starlink. Uh, it was $210 on Amazon. I'll put the Amazon link below, let you know exactly what kit I got. I, I like it, it comes with a bag, it came with wire clips, like it came with a lot of stuff, so it's actually pretty nice. All right, let me show you guys. So this just bolts onto the ladder right here and that holds that. And then if you look up, there's another one that bolts to the ladder right there. And so the way you do it, is when you put the pole in, you put the pole in, crook it that way, and then you set the base down in there, and that lines it up so that Starlink can be in there. And Starlink just pops right into the top. It works with the uh, works with the mounts that actually Starlink already uses, so that's that's really good. And then um, yeah, it's really just kind of plug and play, which is uh, pretty nice. Again, that was two hundred ten dollars for that kit on Amazon. So let me back up and show you guys what it looks like now. And there you go. You got Dishy just kind of sitting there and uh, already picking up satellites. So pretty cool. All right, well, another project done. Now that we have everything from Starlink kind of done, we have the flagpole buddy installed. We have moved sites. And since we just moved sites, what I want to do is just kind of show you how fast it is to actually set up Starlink now uh, because the router stays plugged in inside behind the TV. So all we have to do is really what's outside. So I'm going to show you what we do right now. All right, so I got Starlink and I got the two poles that came with it. And on the back side of the rig, on the ladder, I have uh, the mounts already. And then in here, as I mentioned, here's all of my Starlink cord rolled up. So I'm going to show you how fast it is to kind of get Starlink set up at this point because it's uh, way easier today than it used to be. So the first thing I do is I just take my cord strap off and then I'm going to run Starlink. I'm going to run the cord down through the bottom just like the water hose and then I'm just going to feed it through. Now that part is done, that's pretty much the hardest part is making sure the cord doesn't get rattled up. Then I'm going to run the cord to the back, take the poles and dishy to the back of the RV, and then we uh, can hook it up. And then you just plug it in dishy. And then this part, the one that looks like the spaceship, just connects right in. There you go. There you go. All right, that's it. You just put it into that angle right there, straighten it out, and then put it in here. Screw this down so that it locks in. And then I just like to put my wire in there so it's just not banging against the RV. That's it, then you got Dishy. It takes about three minutes to get Dishy up and running at this point. So one other thing I like to do is just come back here and pull like the excess, um, 
Starlink cable. Just pull it up in here, roll it up so that it's up out of the way. But yeah, that's about it. So if you're looking to upgrade, uh, you have Starlink, you're looking to upgrade your Starlink experience, potentially running your line so that it's a permanent install. And that definitely makes life a little bit easier. Alrighty guys, well that does it for today's video. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you really like it, make sure you subscribe. Till the next strange adventure, keep making your own.